everybody. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to the uh, 110 Rod Shop again. Uh, this is uh, our third video of our since our channel launched. I'm going to try and get into doing a lot of uh, videos on some of the builds that I've already done, and then we're going to get into uh, some actual how-to videos and some of the, the future builds. So uh, it could be anything from a shop. It could be more cars, hot rods. As, as you saw in my last video, I have tons and tons of bodies, so lots of cool projects to work on. We've got some uh, some really cool stuff coming down the pike. Um, one of the vehicles that I, I first wanted to get a hold of was this uh, TRX4 Sport. Um, this was a builder's kit that I built for a friend about, I don't know, I think about a month and a half, two months ago. Um, this particular truck is pretty awesome. We did blast it all over the Instagram and uh, page and it blew up. Everybody liked it. Traxxas liked it. Um, it. It turned into a really fun, cool build. So uh, as you can see, it's got a really just a beautiful paint job this color is really pretty um i mean it's it's a nice pearl orange color so it's not boring or plain just like some of the red and the blue ones you see are um, it does have every single traxxas bolt-on accessory that you can get from the uh, front bumper to lights to the uh, chase roof rack luggage rack whatever you want to call it the uh, roll cage here uh, utility cage um, it's got the uh, wheel ramps here for the uh, for crossing some of the uh, steel stuff. They, these are screwed on, so I'm not quite sure if you could use them a lot. You might have to carry the tools with you. Um, I'm not sure what their idea behind that was. Uh, the truck does look like something like maybe like a Ford Ranger or a Chevy Colorado or something. So uh, you start here at the front. Um, as you can see, like I said, it's got all the different light bars, front light bar, headlight conversion kit, overhead light bar, rear, uh, rear pod lights, Explorer lights, I believe is what they call them. And it does have a rock light -like kit, so here a little bit later on in the video, I will uh, turn this bad boy on and let you see how uh, bright this thing really is. So, uh, some of the custom stuff that you see on this, I mean, as it sits right here, it's it's a mostly stock unit. Um, there's just a few 3D printed accessories that I, that I wanted to put on here. So, one of the things that I like to do with the 110 Rod Shop is get rid of any kind of body mounts. Um, I don't like body holes sticking through. I don't like body clips. Um, I try to get rid of them and do rare earth magnets. Um, as you can see here, uh, the Traxxas bodies, if anybody knows Traxxas bodies, they do come with the holes already in them. Um, you can't really get around that. There's actually quite a few companies out there that do that, so I try to work around that. Um, I was able to get rid of the cover them in the front and in the back. Um, in the front, I use this uh, kind of custom hood scoop that you see here. Uh, this hood scoop is wide, just wide enough to cover the holes. Um, it's got some metal grade in there. Try to make it look kind of cool. Um, I did not paint it. It is it is made out of a 3D printed. It is something that I drew on CAD. Um, if you would like that and want this set up, definitely hit me up. Uh, 110 rodshop at gmail.com. Um, so this, uh, this here explore, other than the 3D printing here, we've got some 3D printing here in the back. So uh, the back 3D printing is uh, basically a bed cover. Um, this was here so that I would have a spot to mount screws in for the body mounts that go underneath the vehicle or underneath the body um, in the back to hold those magnets on there. So um, as you can see, you know, not many, too many uh, aftermarket stuff going on on the outside. It's mainly just all Traxxas bolt-on stuff. Everything you see on this thing is available through Traxxas unless it's something that I've 3D printed. Um, one of the other exterior accessories that I like to do is this vehicle has a custom battery tray in it. Um, the bottom side of that battery tray, as you can see right here, is actually a gas tank. Um, it looks kind of cool in there. It's got some scale recesses over here. Um, but I, I always like to try to make as many scale accessories as I can. Um, I've been doing the scale stuff for not too long here, you know, maybe a couple years. Um, but I do come from a car background, so I try to uh, incorporate whatever knowledge I can in there. Um, you know, and I, and, I, and I am just learning CAD, so... but. Uh, the uh, gas tank looks cool when you get the real low angle shots when you're out crawling or anything like that um, to try to add to some more scale realism. So um, The other thing that I did on this vehicle was a 3D printed interior. Um, it's the first 3D printed interior that I've actually drawn by myself uh, on CAD and printed so um, we can get into that. So one thing I want to talk about is the uh, magnetic body mount. So these things are really pretty strong. Um, I'm a big fan of the rare earth magnets. Um, this vehicle, pretty much all of my vehicles have the rare earth magnets. Um, I do like to show that you can actually pick this vehicle up by the body and the magnets will hold it up off the ground. So 
I mean, you can even kind of shake it around and you can see how sturdy those magnets really are um, with holding the body on. So, uh, but they do, they do make it quick and easy and accessible if you have to get your battery out, out real quick or um, you just want to access your, your vehicle and get, get ready and get on the trail really quick. So um, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy off here. You can see how easy it comes off whenever you want to try. So it's, a, it's actually really cool. I like the, the ma magnet body mounts. I know a lot of people still screw their bodies on. It's whatever, really just kind of personal choice there, I guess. So um, so to start describing what we got here, so as you can see, we've got a 3D printed interior. Um, we've got some 3D printed body mounts here, here, and here. Um, these just hold the rare earth magnets. They do sit flush. Those are 3D printed. Um, they do bolt on to factory locations. Um, that was one thing that was really important to me is that I tried to make all of these 3D parts to where if I want to build another model, I can just print them again and, and bolt them on. So um, as you can see, the interior is actually pretty trick. Uh, it's pretty scale. Um, once again, so this is my first 3D uh, printed interior that I drew myself. Um, I did draw, I don't know if you can see in here, but I drew speakers. We got, uh, we got some silver speaker rings and, and kind of trim up the doors and got all the uh, seats and everything in. We tried to go with like a marbleized kind of dash cover that would come on like some of the older Denali's and, and some of the GMC's. As you can see it does have a uh, scale dash inside there and all the dash and the gauges are, are in there and we, even on the radio it's got a little Traxxas deal and put some Traxxas stickers here and there and you know of course it's got to have a beer can in there. Um, and what you see back here no no car is ever com custom car is ever complete with some kind of stereo system so I don't know if you can see those subwoofers in there but I always like to try to add little stereo stuff to them as I can and uh, they are non-functioning but they look cool and you can you can see them once you get the body back on the truck um, like I said you know this is one of the bodies that I, the first bodies that I 3d or interiors I'm sorry that I 3d printed so um, hopefully I'll get get better at them I want to definitely get into some more detail on my uh, airbrushing and whatnot um, but other than that, I mean, this is pretty much what it is. Like I said, it does have rock lights on it. So uh, let's, uh, let's power this dude up. You know, one thing that a lot of people don't, uh, don't know about is Traxxas does make an extension battery uh, or extension cable for the, light, uh, for the light systems. So this vehicle has rock lights, it's got the headlights, it's got all the light bars. So you have to buy this little four you know, splitter right here and it allows you to have four more extra light ports. That's definitely something you have to have if you're going to do a lot of lights on a Traxxas TRX4. Um, I really like the Traxxas TRX4 Platinum. I've got a, pl a platform. I've got a few of these vehicles. Um, they're very solid, reliable. You know, as long as you keep up maintenance on them and you don't, you don't abuse them and wear them out too bad, um, these things will last forever and just keep going and going and going and going. So um, real quickly, as you can see, you can see the battery tray that I built and it's just 3D printed and mounts right there to that center cross member and uh, has the gas tank underneath it. So. Go ahead and snap that body back on. Uh, well, let's turn this dude on first. And uh, as you can see, this thing lights up pretty good. So, um, you know, it's got lots and lots and lots of light. <laughs> uh, nighttime is really, really fun to go drive these things. We love to get out and night, uh, night drive. Uh, we are in Texas and Dallas, Fort Worth, so sometimes the weather can get pretty hot during the day, during the summertime. And uh, so we'll go out at night when it's a little bit cooler. We've got lots of light to uh, carry us through all the trails and get us through all the shenanigans that we get to. I'm gonna shut the light off real quick. And you can see now how bright this truck really is, you know, and uh, you know, this thing, it, it really will illuminate the, the trails at night. It'll, it'll, it'll project and broadcast the light quite a bit, as you can see going across the entire shop over here. Um, this is a single, um, light bar right here it's a single row and it's also it, it only does one brightness level uh, Traxxas does make some other light bars that'll do dual light or dual um, brightness they have a low and a high beam essentially so um, but that comes on like the k5 blazer and whatnot but you can see the rock lights underneath um, that I think that's really cool that Traxxas offers rock lights maybe one day they'll have some that interchange and change colors like you see on the side by sides but uh, other than that, it's, uh, I think it looks, came out pretty cool. You know, lots, lots of lights. Uh, Got to have the, lots of lights. So, once again, I want to I 
Give shout out to Traxxas for uh, getting involved with the crawler game as of uh, the last few, over the last three or four years it seems like. Uh, they are local to us out here so um, you know it's always cool whenever we do some cool builds um, and, and whenever they get involved and actually get, get into some of these really cool crawlers. We're, we're going to see a lot of the Traxxas crawlers, um, especially the chassis kits. Um, I do love the TRX4 platform, so I'm going to use it on lots of different things. I've got an RC four drive blazer body that I've been dying to build, so hopefully I'll get it built, and we're going to definitely put it on a TRX4 chassis. Um, so, you know, look for those videos coming down the pipe. But uh, overall, just wanted to kind of show off this Traxxas TRX4. Um, subscribe, like it if you like it. If you don't, you know, hopefully you'll catch something on the channel that you do. We do, like I said, we get into all kinds of RC cars, um, you know everything and uh but like subscribe check us out keep coming back i'm going to try and get lots more videos uh, posted on the channel so get some content and give everybody a chance to look at what the 110 rod shop can really do thanks for joining us